Hello my beautiful people, how are you? Today I'm going to do another declutter It sounds kind of weird when I say that, right? Declutter What? Declutter De Whatever I'm going to go through my foundations Did I just speak? Through my foundations and primers And I'm going to do a little cleaning in there Because it's kind of dusty <laughs> So if you guys are here for that Then um, keep on watching Whoa, this is heavier than me <laughs> Alright you guys, so I don't know how to film this so you can actually see the products I don't care if you don't see my face like I'm here. Hello But these are my foundations and my primers I, You see like you can you can even see those so I'm going to start with my least favorites Sadly, they are both from Clinique. Listen the only foundation from Clinique that worked for me is the one with the wand. I don't know exactly the name of that. I used to love that so much. But then I purchased this one. This is the Super Balanced Silk Makeup SPF 15. I don't like it. Like, I feel like these two are the exact same formula. And they don't work for me. I forgot to mention I do have dry skin. And sometimes foundations enhance some dry patches on my face i don't even know they exist so this is exactly what it does for me i just hate it this is like brand new i only use this like twice so i don't like this also it doesn't came with a pump it looks like this oh uh, man i'm so sorry this doesn't work for me, but it is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. Okay, let me know if this angle is much better for you. Because as I said, I don't know how to do this. Okay, so this is a no for me. I'm so sad because as I said, such a waste of money. But I purchased this a while ago when I could afford buying makeup. Okay, so I'm not that sad. This goes there. Or maybe here this is the trash okay again this one it doesn't work for me i don't like how it sits on my skin it makes my skin have this weird texture that i don't have like honestly i don't have weird texture on my skin and this makes my skin look like that i really wanted to love this one i don't know if you guys follow me but i had like a sample size of this foundation and that worked beautifully for me and for my skin but then I purchased the full size and guess what? Guess what? It's not working. It's not working. Such a waste of money. Again. I like the packaging though. And this one came with a pump. Uh, these are like very old. I don't even remember when I purchased them. Oh yeah, this is from Hourglass. They were super popular back in the days. Of course I had to buy them because everyone said it looks flawless on the skin. High coverage. I mean full coverage uh so of course i went and i bought it it was on sale at sephora when i bought mine so actually i didn't match myself with the shades that i bought so i'm not that mad for this for these ones either just because i remember i bought one and it was like four freaking euros and it was a very dark color but my strategy was to use it as a cream counter, okay? So I remember I paid 4 freaking euros, as I said. I think it's this one in the shade Almond. By the way, this is the Vanish Foundation, as I said, I'm sorry, Vanish Foundation Stick. And as I said, everyone claimed this one to be like full coverage, super flawless, amazing. Uh, makes you look like a million bucks. I don't know what to say. It looked a little bit too, I don't want to say cakey because it didn't really look cakey. It looked more like heavy. Like I had a shit ton of makeup on and it looked heavy. But the darker shade used as a cream contour, oh my goodness, I freaking love that. So the darker shade really worked for me as a cream counter, as I said. I honestly don't like this angle, like my head hurts. As I said, it looked heavy on my skin. I have dry skin and um, this didn't really work for me. I had to apply a thin layer and even with that thin layer on my skin, 
it still looked heavy if that makes any sense so yeah i have to get rid of this one just because at this point it's like very old i'm not gonna use it anymore but i did kind of like it i mean in pictures this looks absolutely flawless okay it didn't look as flawless in real life i think this works great if you have oily skin so i don't know if they still make this one because i haven't heard anyone talking about it or using it so maybe this is like vintage makeup right here should i sell it on ebay hmm, not a bad idea so that's that next we have fit me maybelline i i don't know why i thought i had two shades Oh, here's the thing you guys, I sometimes like go through my makeup and get rid of some stuff that I feel like I'm not gonna use anymore or it doesn't work for me. So I know for sure I had two shades of this uh, Fit Me foundation, but it's not here. So I'm assuming I got rid of it. This doesn't work for me. I bought this just because Katniss Light kept talking about it and she swears it looks so beautiful on dry skin but honestly it doesn't look that beautiful on my freaking ass dry skin like again this one sits on top of my skin it doesn't want to blend with my skin uh and it kind of looks like weird i don't know how to explain it it has this texture but it's not really texture it sits on top of my skin and it makes my skin look weird it definitely looks like makeup and i didn't enjoy this one i don't know why i keep this one wait i do know why i keep this one because it's brand new i think i used this once or twice look at this look at this another waste of money i'm telling you guys <laughs> can you believe this this is maybelline we all know maybelline is like very affordable i think I bought mine on Amazon, so I'm going to put this one to the side, I'm going to ask my sister if she wants it. Next, let's go with the... I thought this is the Anastasia one. Oh my goodness. And then I had another one in the same exact bottle. I don't know what brand was that. I know it was in the shade Barcelona and it almost cost me my kidney. <laughs> to buy that. I bought that at Sephora and it was super expensive. Anyway, this is from Zueva. I did enjoy this. This is kind of old, so that's why I'm throwing throwing it away. Uh, this is the authentic skin and I think I have the concealer as well. So they both worked beautifully for me. It's just, I think I wasn't really happy with the coverage of this one because it looked a little bit more glowy, more lightweight. So I think that was the only thing I didn't like about this foundation. Let me know if you try this one. I'm telling you it's a good foundation, but I think I wanted more coverage. I don't know. That's the only bad thing I can say about this foundation. You guys, please don't look at my hairy legs. I don't feel like shaving. I don't feel like shaving, okay? Body hair. It's totally normal. Um, it has this satiny finish. Did I say it glowy? No. It has a more satin finish. I just realized that I kind of need to get rid of all of my foundations. Wow. We have the Wet n Wild. This is the normal version because they have the dewy one. Okay, they have the dewy, luminous dewy foundation and then this is the normal one that it smells like paint. Like their original foundation, it smells so freaking bad. I never liked the scent of it, so if you are sensitive to perfumes, I don't think you're gonna like this one. So, uh, this one came with a spatula. Oh, this is so old, it looks... Woo! bad and it smells bad too honestly right now i love more the luminous dewy formula because it's freaking amazing but at the time i did enjoy this formula it does look kind of heavy on me it does settle on my lines and it looks heavy as i said but the finish is beautiful and also in pictures it looks freaking gorgeous 
The price, absolutely amazing, is Wet n Wild. I haven't uh, said what this product is. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, uh, their original one, okay? So I did enjoy this one. I don't feel like purchasing since I discovered the Luminous one. I, I loved you, but it's time for us to, you know, go separate ways. Uh, nonetheless, this is a nice foundation and very affordable if you are on a budget and you have oily skin you're gonna love this one but for dry skin it looks a little bit heavy okay Estee Lauder Estee Lauder Estee Lauder I don't know this is the double wear stay in place makeup honestly this is a beautiful foundation okay I did my first impressions on it it looked beautiful on me until it decided to settle into my lines my forehead lines looked terrible in that video i'm going to have it down below prob or probably here on the screen so you can go <laughs> and watch it it looked terrible terrible on my forehead oh my goodness every single fine lines and wrinkle on my forehead it was extremely enhanced so this is not for dry skin i don't want to say mature skin because i don't consider having mature skin but I do have wrinkles and fine lines and whatever. This one looked bad on me. But it's such a beautiful foundation. I'm going to say this again. It looks absolutely gorgeous in pictures. Like it looks freaking flawless. This is full coverage foundation. Uh, I don't know why they bother to put 10 SPF or SPF 10 in it. Again, this one doesn't came with a pump. You have to pour it so if you have more like oily skin you'll absolutely love this one i know it's a little bit more pricey but it's worth it for me it didn't work so please don't get mad at me okay if you have dry skin and you try this one and it worked for you how is it like to be god's favorite okay moving on we have the la girl pro coverage high definition long wear illuminating foundation if you have dry skin this is your best friend it's like light to medium coverage but very buildable it looks beautiful you don't have to set this with powder because it looks so glowy so beautiful uh you love this one and also la girl extremely affordable feels lightweight on the skin it doesn't look heavy it doesn't settle as crazy in my smile lines or fine lines you can move on with your day without setting this foundation with powder and it will look beautiful but if you decide to set this with uh, setting powder again it will look beautiful so either way this looks beautiful as i said if you have dry skin this is your bestie right here anyway wait a second wait a second i think i have more foundations here yeah totally i have uh, Oh, I have my Shigla foundations, but I just purchased them. So we have another one. So this is from Folk Allure. This was sent to me. I did really love this one. Uh, I don't know why it says matte, because definitely this is not a matte finish. Folk Allure, that's you full coverage matte foundation. As I said, this is not matte. I mean, at least on me, it didn't look matte. And I really love that because I have dry skin and sometimes matte foundations with dry skin, they don't work together, okay? Again, it comes with a pump. Beautiful package. This is glass. This is glass. And I think it's like very affordable. I don't remember the price. It looked nice on me, but if you go crazy, it can feel heavy on the skin. I honestly don't remember much about this foundation because it was sent to me a freaking while ago and um, you know time flies and my memory goes bad <laughs> I'm getting old <laughs> that's a sign right of getting old memory loss <laughs> I don't remember much of this foundation but I know that is affordable and it looked beautiful on me and definitely not matte like it didn't look matte on me alrighty this is the dream urban cover again from Maybelline I love how this looks on my skin this has a 
light to medium coverage, very buildable. You guys, if you have dry skin, this is again your best friend. You need this foundation. It looks so beautiful. It feels lightweight. It looks like skin. Absolutely amazing. I don't know why more people don't talk about this foundation. Uh, it came in a squeezy bottle and honestly I don't like this because sometimes I squeeze too much product and that's a waste. But I'm going to keep this one because it's not that old and honestly it looks beautiful on me. Finally something I'm going to keep. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to go with L'Oreal Nude Serum Foundation. Again, I'm going to keep this one because I bought it this year. So this is a serum foundation with 1% hyaluronic acid. I don't know what to say. This is more like a tinted foundation. It's not a foundation. I mean, it says serum foundation. I don't know what's the difference in between tinted foundation and serum foundation. This one has a very light coverage. It feels amazing on the skin. It definitely feels like a serum, okay? It doesn't look like a foundation. You need to build this one like crazy if you want to get a little bit of coverage. So this is for those days, like the days when you don't feel like wearing makeup. This will be your well, this will be your best friend because it will even out your skin tone and it makes your skin look glowy, like fresh, beautiful dewy if you have dry skin again this is your best friend next i'm going to go with another l'oreal this is uh, the infallible fresh wear and honestly i do have the powder form on this one but i don't really like it to wear it as a foundation because it doesn't cover anything okay i like to set my face with that powder this one doesn't work for me it looks bad on my skin I have dry skin as I keep mentioning during this video so it sits on top of my skin it makes my skin look old if that makes sense it looks like I have this crazy texture on my skin that it doesn't exist like it's not there it looks bad on my skin and I really wanted to love this one because Kathleen Light said that she loves it and it looks beautiful and um, it doesn't work for me it hurts my heart. I don't wanna get rid of it because as I said, this is brand new. I use this like four times, but it doesn't work for me. So why should I keep, um, uh, why should I keep it? Why should I keep it? <sighs> waste of money, another waste of money. <laughs> Love that for me. You know what? I'm going to ask my sister if she wants it because it's brand new. Okay, so I'm going to put this one to the side. Also this one, I'm going to ask her if she wants this one as well. Because I bought this one this year. It's not old. Moving on, we have the... Let's go with my most favorite foundation. Affordable. On the market. Let me just shake it a little bit because it looked bad. This is like very old. Okay, but I keep it because I want to remember the good times. Very full coverage with matte finish foundation. But I don't know how. Listen. I don't know how this looks beautiful on my skin. I have dry skin, as you already know. This looked so freaking beautiful, so flawless on my skin. Uh, it looks amazing in pictures. It has this matte finish, but it's not like drying matte finish, if that makes sense. It looked beautiful on me and I have dry skin, okay? And then they reformulated the and they came out with this one, which is un caca, es un caca, because it doesn't work for me. I don't know what they did. The coverage is not the same. Like, I don't know why they did this. It makes me so sad. Again, this is like brand new. I think I used this one like twice. I don't, I don't, I don't even know where to begin, but there's like a lot of difference in between these two foundations. The 24 hours one is like full coverage. The 30 hours one, is like a medium coverage this one dries extremely fast so you need to work in small sections if you want to build it up think twice about that also if you want to use cream products on top of it again think twice about that because uh, it dries fast it looks weird it sits on top of my skin 
it enhances my dry patches, my fine lines, my smile lines like crazy. This is a huge no for me. Um, I honestly don't know why, like why did they thought they did something with this newest formula? They didn't. So this one did none of that, like none of those things I just mentioned. I honestly don't want to get rid of this one just because it's so dear for my heart. Of course I'm not gonna use it because it's so old. Don't judge me, okay? I just love it. I love it. Okay, moving on, we have some chic... Oh, look at this. I have another one. So yeah, I, ha I used to um, have more shades because I bought my summer shades and my winter shades. Um, okay, next we have a She Glam Foundation. And this is the... They don't make this one anymore. I used this one the other day and I wanted to list it in the description and they don't have it anymore. I think I bought this one two years ago if I'm not wrong so it's a little bit old. I did use this the other day and nothing bad happened to my skin but I don't want to keep it. You know what I mean? Uh, it looks beautiful but it feels a little bit heavy on my skin and also it enhances a little bit too much my smile lines and I don't like that other than that this is a beautiful satiny finish foundation the coverage is absolutely amazing this is glass bottle okay it came with a pump Estee Lauder could never or Clinique <laughs> uh, I did like this one but I think it's time for me to let it go moving on we have the Shiseido Shiseido whatever this is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I honestly bought this last year, but it's still good to go because you have like 24 months time to use it. So this is still good to go. I still have some left. I use this like crazy. This looks absolutely amazing if you have dry skin. The coverage is more like a medium coverage, but buildable. It doesn't dry out. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't settle into my smile lines, fine lines. This is just lovely. The formula is adorable. So I don't know what else to say about this. I'm going to keep it because it's just mm, lovely. I adore you. Uh, then I have the tinted foundation also from She Shado, C Shado. This is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint Fluid whatever it has SPF 20. I do like this one. The finish is very glowy. Again, if you have dry skin, this will look beautiful on you. The coverage is, I mean, it says tinted foundation, okay? So it doesn't have that much coverage. Like, if I have to recommend you one product from these two, I would go with the foundation because, as I said, it looks absolutely flawless. But the tinted foundation is not bad at all. And I'm going to keep it, obviously. And again, I love that you have, like, 24 months time to use the product um i'm going to go with catrice next um this one i love so much i'm not gonna ugh, i'm not gonna get rid of it because i bought it this year just because of tati i also have the concealer and again they work beautiful together because they're supposed to work beautiful together because they are made for each other i'm assuming this is the catrice true skin hydrating foundation hyaluronic acid long wear the coverage is a medium to full coverage buildable it looks beautiful on the skin it doesn't enhance the fine lines smile lines that much but like at the end of the day it will look heavy but it won't feel heavy so as i said i'm going to keep this one next we have the flawless filter from um, Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I know this is not a foundation. This is like a filter that goes under your foundation. You can mix this one with your foundation as well and it will make it look glowy, very beautiful, radiant. I bought this many months ago, I think like three years ago. And as you can see, I repurchased it but in a travel size it looks like this i just love it i totally recommend this one if you guys can afford it you need to have it because it will look gorgeous as i said is very pricey i mean it's charlotte i bought this when i could afford buying makeup <laughs> as we can see but i have like no regrets i know no regrets but no regrets, you know that tattoo, 
what it says no regrets <laughs> that's me right now hollywood flawless filter for a superstar youth glow honestly they are not wrong okay this one delivers what it says next i have my favorite drugstore foundation i mean these are drugstores as well but this is the most affordable foundation out of all of them i'm going to keep so this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation dewy luminous if you have dry skin you need this foundation you will absolutely love it they freaking nailed it with this formula it looks juicy on the skin it looks radiant it looks luminous dewy the coverage is like a good medium coverage okay but it's very buildable it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it doesn't settle into my fine lines my lines whatever it doesn't do that this is such a nice foundation honestly uh, i bought this one last year if i'm not wrong so i'm going to keep it i have my summer and my winter shades again it comes with a spatula i'm not really a fan of this i much rather prefer a pump but i'm okay with that just because the formula is freaking bomb anyway last but not least we have the rare beauty you guys i don't want you to get mad at me but this didn't work for me i just checked the lifespan on this foundation and once you open it you have nine months time to use it so i'm going to get rid of it even though my heart hurts um this didn't really work for me i don't know i can't put my finger on it like what i didn't liked about it first of all i didn't got my shade that's my mistake but it didn't look good on me it looked like it was sitting on top of my skin but in a natural way if that makes any sense i know but it didn't look good okay like i wasn't a fan of this foundation so it hurts my heart i really want to love because i love selena and i do have the concealer the concealer works a little bit better for me but i don't really use it that much this is like freaking yellow i don't know why about this shade it smells like foundation um so yeah i'm going to get rid of this one because i don't know why you only have nine months time spent to use it once you open it like wet and wild offers you 12 months oh my goodness i got that Ugh, everywhere honestly this makes me so sad but they must go look at that pile it's so big <laughs> okay so these are the foundations i'm going to keep honestly i do use them very often and i love them they work for me so that's that as i said i'm making room for new stuff uh, i'm not gonna use this one but i'm going to keep it just because it's so dear for my heart and it worked for me it looked beautiful on me you know just just to remember the good old days and then i'm going to ask my sister if she wants these three foundations or maybe she wants them uh so that's it as i said this pile is kind of big honestly it makes me sad but they are old i don't use them that often you know <laughs> makes me so sad that's it i guess this is the video i'm going to do my primers in a different one because this one it got kind of long okay so back to my outro all right beautiful i am actually in shock i mean i knew i had to get rid of that many foundations but it's like different when you take action <laughs> like when you actually do it and you see them going to the trash <laughs> i'm sad i'm so sad any makeup brands out there watching my video please send my way your stuff i would be more than happy to try it on and to speak about it on my channel so send me your stuff <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you spotted your favorite foundation in this declutter video. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, that's it. As I said, I do have uh, more declutters to do. So stay tuned for that, I guess. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, take care. My neighbor is like...
active moving chairs as per usual yeah that's what he does <laughs> uh please subscribe if you haven't already take care and i and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs> listen i'm so mad at you because you saw me looking like this this whole time and you didn't said anything we are not friends anymore how could you do this to me <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why this happened because I haven't applied mascara on my bottom lashes. As you can see, I applied mascara only on my top lashes. Today, I used the telescopic mascara. What the heck?